That's it. There you go. Now you got again, again. Who's the last guy to stop? Time. Very good. That's what I mean. Very good. That's what you have to do. Tyson, when I first had him, he was 190 pounds, nothing but muscle, 12 years old. Okay, that's what he was. <laughs> but that's what he was. I mean, that's what God made right. him. That's so, crazy. So I go down there and I put the first fight. Nobody's seen Tyson. Nobody's ever seen Tyson. 12 years old, 190 pounds. Teddy, please, please, please. He's 12 years old. He's going to be 13 soon, but he's technically he's 12 years old, okay? Oh, come on. I said, all right, I'll make you feel better. I'll put down 17. So I fought a 17-year-old. I wasn't going to fight no 12-year-old. That wasn't going to happen. Right. And plus, I get arrested for murder. Eight-second knockout in the first round. Eight-second knockout. Yeah. What was he like at 12 uh, years old? Mentally weak. What, what do I mean mentally weak? Not weak for the average guy, but, but for a fighter, he still have remnants stuff from his upbringing in Brownsville. It was a rough place, no doubt about it. He used to hide between walls to not get picked on. And I believe when you do that, you never get outside of that wall to a certain extent. You're always hiding in that wall for the rest of your life. That's just my belief. Teddy, what are you talking about? I became heavyweight champ. Some people think he's the greatest. Some people... And this is going to blow some people crazy. But what are you going to do? I don't have his record. Let's just say it's 50 and 6. All right, we'll, we'll say 5. 50 and 5, but whatever. I think his record... I would say he's 0-5. To me, a fight is not a fight into this resistance. To this something to overcome. Something to overcome. Otherwise, it's just an athletic venture. It's an exhibition. I think life is that. You're not in a fight until there's pressure, resistance, overcoming something. Tyson's talent was so great, his physical ability, his talent was so overwhelming that the other stuff never got tested. If there's anything inside, you never knew. And then five times, whatever the real record is, five times there was resistance. Five times it became a real fight. Five times there was something to overcome. And he failed all five times. He was only in five fights in his life. And he's all in five. I don't think that you know crap about somebody until they're tested. You don't know if they're your friend. You don't know if they're a good wife. You don't know crap. You think you do, but until they're really tested, you don't really know. And Tyson, when he got tested, when he had to overcome something, when, when he didn't run them over like, like one of those big monster trucks running over a Volkswagen, because he was a monster truck with Volkswagen. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. And was he one of the greatest punchers of all time? Yeah, yes. Could he punch from either side of the plate like Mickey Mantle, the greatest switch hitter? Was he that in body? Yes. He could punch evenly, great with either hand from either side. Was he all those things? Yes. Was he as great an intimidator as Sonny Liston? Yes. Was he a great finisher like Joe Lewis to a certain extent? Yes. But he wasn't a great fighter. Because great fighters, when the fight came to them, they found a way to do what they had to do. He found a way to disappear. And down goes Tyson. It's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has been knocked out. And look, you could go talk to psychiatrists and you could go through all the reasons why hiding between a wall when he was a kid. Yeah, that, that, that's part of it. I'll tell you another part of it. To be that, not to be the power puncher, not to be the aggressor, not to be just those things, to be the titan, to be the viking, to be the samurai, to be the warrior, to be those things, it has to be inside you. You have to believe it. You know, a lot of times people lie in life. There's certain places you can't lie. 
You know, sometimes we say that the ring is the chamber of truth. You know, it sounds good and all that, but it, it, there's, it, it is. Because just, just like in other places in life too, when the moment comes, you have to feel like that. You say that you're the conqueror, you're Alexander the Great, you're all those things, right? Okay, words, sounds great. Makes good sound bites. Probably bring more people to the TV. But when the moment comes and you didn't intimidate the guy, that didn't work, okay? That's where the truth matters. You have to believe that you're really that guy. Tyson wasn't. As great as he was, I just said it. He's great, guys, that hate me for saying your hero or whatever your favorite guy was. He's great. Just not great in, in this area. And if you're a guy that, hey, listen, he was convicted, so I think it's fair, that raped somebody, okay? Now, listen, I wasn't in that room, and I don't know, but I know enough people in the business that there was a lot of other bad things that he did that are just not things that, that you would probably want to hang around with somebody if you're a halfway decent human being that he did that were weak things, okay, weak things. So when you do weak things and you know they were weak things and now you gotta do a strong thing, how do you become strong when you know that you did those weak things and you know that's really you and you got a guy across from you named Evander Holyfield that doesn't give a shit about how hard you punch, doesn't give a crap about what a finisher you are, doesn't give a crap about how fast you put your punches together. You're gonna have to make him a believer by doing it and doing it in a difficult place because he's gonna make it difficult because he ain't gonna cooperate. When that happens, you gotta feel like that person. And when you don't feel like that person, you got a problem. And that's what happened. It wasn't a matter when he bit his ear. It wasn't a matter that he was hungry and he was a savage and he was from the street. Stop the crap. There's a way to get out because he knew he wasn't that guy. And when you're not that guy, guess what? You have a great talent of. Recognize when somebody is. Yeah, that's your greatest talent. You can recognize when somebody is. And he recognized that Evander the Holyfield was. And that was his way to get out. He was as strong a guy as you're ever gonna see, but he was as weak a person as you're ever gonna find.